I think I've stepped it off 70 foot commute. When I come down to work, I get to say, bye, I'll see you later, I'm headed off. My wife gets to do her stuff at the house and this is a completely separate place. It takes Don Turnage about 30 seconds from one front door to the next. Every time I come and go, it's like, hello, tiny house. Yes, Don bought himself a little property for his retirement, so he doesn't have to really retire. Did you ever expect to be doing this? Not in a million years. At this stage in life, Don opened Stage 15 Barbershop, a play on his home address in Samberton, where he's lived for 40 years. The tiny barbershop by the Big Birch is a new addition. Will you give me a tour? Sure. Well, this is my little retirement barber house. It's a tiny house, eight feet by 20 feet. It's pretty tall. I have never measured it. Probably 14 feet, something like that. Which really adds to the roominess. You really have such a great view outside. The view and down in the field is a pond. Hey John, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for coming in. Regulars are right at home here. Sit right down, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. They come for the cut and some conversation. Geez, I thought I was gonna get blown away, Don. Walking out to the truck, coming yeah. here today. Yeah, it's, there's some good wind. Barbering is partly getting the haircut and it's partly a social event. And the usual for you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you folks have ever seen a nicer spot to get a haircut. This tiny barber shop was built on a foundation of sheer enthusiasm and experience from other jobs. Don's first degree? Arizona State University, I got a bachelor's degree in philosophy. Don then served in the Army. I was in for two years. It was during the Vietnam era. I love this country. I can't picture being anywhere else. He went on to become a teacher. I taught at St. Bonnie School, which is six miles from here. I taught for 20 years, third grade most of the time. retired from one classroom to go into another. Idea of barbering came up. My wife said, do it, go for it. If you don't like it, you can go back to teaching. And so I went to barber school in my mid fifties, which was, I was definitely the older guy at the barber school. He spotted the perfect place to hang his first barber pole in Plymouth. There was this shop right on Main Street with a big four rent sign in the window. For the next 20 years, Don ran Turnage Barber Shop. He keeps a drawing of the big barber shop inside the tiny one, a reminder of his roots. So there'd be college students around and you'd hear things like, yep, I'm gonna go to Turnage. And so the college students called it, it wasn't the barbershop or turnage barbershop, it was just turnage, which I went, well, gee, that's nice. He tried to hang up his scissors. <laughs> Hi, Tom. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. The first plan, I believe, was that you were going to retire. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that's, that's a good direction to go. And, did you and that didn't go well. <laughs> it, well, I never really experimented with it. Instead, he decided a job at the end of the driveway suited him just fine. And so he ordered a little something. Finally, when this came along, the tiny house um, seemed obvious. The inspector said this is the cutest little barbershop she's ever seen in her life. Stage 15 Barbershop has now weathered a full round of New Hampshire's seasons. It's so warm and welcoming. It really is special and 
How, how this came to me, I'll never know. I think anything else you do in life, you carry what's, what works for you forward. He has a window on his world from here, looking back at career paths and looking forward to special moments. Yup, there they are. Like spotting his daughter and granddaughter popping in for a visit. Hi. Hi. Come on in. How are you? I'll let you meet my guests. <laughs> Hi, Papa. Hi. <laughs> Good to see ya. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for coming over. Would I have guessed this? Never in a million years. In a way, you're working from home. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, when are you going to retire? I, I don't know, and I guess if I have to, I will. And there you are. It's pretty good life. <laughs> I'm just counting every blessed day of blessing I have. I always turn around and I look at this tiny house and I go, thank you. This was wonderful again.